crank. This crankshaft without a crank was missing a crank. Rufus, you are a genius. According to the field guide, this is a flying platypus egg. Cool, that's just what my collection was missing. This one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummies. Pull on the book titled, Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? Welcome to the Flago Mat. For half mast, insert human ashes here. <laughs> Handy. If I could stretch the pants leg, it would make a terrific catapult. But what should I... I'll bear it in mind. If I could stretch the pants... But obviously I'm still missing... I'll bear it in mind. When it's raised, this is the highest point on the habitat. But then I can't put the egg in there. It'll just roll out the other side. And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I've built a fully functional hook doohickey. Good idea. Now, I just have to fasten the end somewhere and I'll have the perfect catapult. The flagomat only reacts to human ashes. Huh, <laughs> Andy. Nothing happened. <laughs> My pants catapult is almost finished. I just need to stretch it somehow. That? Is that a lint trap? It seems to belong to the flagomat. That'll be the day when I clean.
Hey, just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. Ah! Ugh, slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then... Whoa! A perfect trajectory! I'm sure that can be used a second time.
So far, so good. Now, all I have to do is catch it and bring it back to its nest. Platty, platty, look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? No, actually, yes, of course. It should be possible. A landing net for flying? Ah, uh, yes, of It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? Ah, uh, yes, of course. That looks just like... It's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. Here, platy platy. Ha! Got it! Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. Look at this! A fine specimen, wouldn't you say? What the? Don't tell me you caught that! <laughs> sure looks like it! Holy heck! Perhaps I misjudged you. Just how is that possible when you have so little fisherman's luck? What's your secret, buddy? I use a pedal-powered tandem rod. Yeah, pull the other one. If you won't tell me your fishing secret, get lost. I use a special kind of bait. Huh, and now he claims to have a... Wait a minute, bait is important. And you must have caught that razor fish somehow. Could it be that you really got a special bait? Are you calling me a liar? Not if you show me your bait. Huh, what's in it for me? Well, I could offer you a tiger fish. An ordinary tiger fish against my fantastic special bait? You must be a few worms short of a can. Forget it then. Forget it then like so totally. Ha, see if I care. If you want a tiger fish at some point, bring me your special bait. If not, shoot. <laughs> I've got almost all the components for a fishing rod now. <laughs> I've got... What's that supposed to be? What do you think, my special bait? Of course. Hmm. That really does look like genuine bait. All right. Maybe you do know how to fish. You can take a tiger fish. Hey, 
stand still. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't even catch a fish that's already on land? I didn't want it. It was suffering from epilepsy. Yeah, whatever. Keep your bait until you really want a fish. Otherwise, beat it. Expired tranquilizers, huh, <laughs> better than nothing. He wants his peace and quiet, he can have it. Again. Hey, fellow, where's your in? I was about to go right ahead. I'm on my way. Fine. And now, shoot. What's that? What do you think, my special? Hmm. All right. Maybe you can take a tiger. Got it! Congratulations, Mr. Fisherman! Now give me the bait! Huh, I don't know. It's a pretty tiny fish and really big bait. Alright, alright. Anything to shut you up. Voila! A zebrafish! According to the field guide, water platypuses hatch their young in the mouths of living zebrafish. So far so good. Of course! Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off! Rufus! What are you doing out there? Stop that right now! The generator is beginning to overload! The energy flow is off the scale! Space is already beginning to bend! Just a second! Come on, fish birds! Live! Live! <laughs> I did it! It's alive! <laughs> Rupert, damn it! Yeah, okay. Whatever that was, it was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie. Hang on, Frankenfish. Hang on, Franken. Hang on. Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace.
Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Rufus, what are you doing? Don't try to stop me. I have to save the life of a fish. It was a brief but fulfilling existence. You worthless idiot! Remove that monster from my aquarium immediately! Come to Papa! Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> huh, kind of cute. Water platypus seems to be no longer on the menu. According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Okay. According to the f cool, that Oh crap. You should always keep an open flame in your overcoat. Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Oh, darn it. The egg hopped into the pipe system completely by itself. I have to get it out of there somehow.
Ouch! Hot! 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 Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> kind of cute. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your o I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus-free. Took you long enough. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No! There's more to a date than fine food and a grand view, Rufus. No! As in, no? Yes! You also need to impress the lady with your manners. This is an Elysian we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chillblains, and several platypus bites, and you say no? What about a poem? <sighs> got burns and blisters, that's no lie. You still want more? Don't make me cry. Not for me. For the lady. Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can see it now. The sunset is magically reflected in the champagne, making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. It's more like orangey? Schlumpy is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean I recite the poem? Y yes, of course. You. Well, are you well versed in the lyrical arts? Sure. Well enough to tootle my own horn. No reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to... Read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. No, Dad! That'll take forever! Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. Got it? Mm -hmm. He better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long enough. I'm going to solve this problem my own way, a la Rufus, with another truly brilliant move. I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. Uh, you'd better let Daddy do this. I bet I can do this. That's what you said back then when you were playing Blind Man's Bluff. It took you three days to find your way home. And two years until you had paid off what you owed me from the bet. Don't go away. I'll Forget that line. Not even...